Welcome to GSI Mining Systems, the world's leader in eco-friendly mining equipment. GSI Mining Systems provides worldwide equipment sales, engineering services, and technical support for hard rock ore mining and alluvial or place mining operations. GSI specializes in only eco-friendly technologies that do not use mercury or toxic chemical extraction methods such as cyanide. Today, the mining industry is under heavy scrutiny. Governments worldwide are putting to an end the use of mercury and cyanide processing methods. The risks associated to human life and the environment has proven to be not effectively mitigated by mining companies throughout the world. Over 4.5 million people are exposed to mercury daily, most of which are women and children. The effects of mercury on human life and the environment are permanent. Mercury is a long-term killer that affects the brain and kidneys in humans. Mercury is a heavy metal that does not degrade or dissipate over time. Mercury is primarily used in the poorest regions of the world where proper handling and disposal procedures are non-existent. Mercury poison comes from a direct exposure, such as the mine workers, and an indirect or secondary exposure, such as water contamination, contamination in the food chain, as in milk from dairy cattle, and fish and other food sources. When it comes to cyanide processing and heat bleaching, the introduction of heavy metals to the environment is devastating. In addition to the introduction of toxic heavy metals is arsenic. Arsenic is naturally found within the environment. Arsenic in its naturally occurring state is primarily inert. However, when exposed to cyanide, it becomes active and highly toxic to humans and fish and wildlife. The main areas affected with human exposure to cyanide include the central nervous system and the heart. An additional risk with cyanide processing is the introduction of lead. Lead was often used to increase the effectiveness of cyanide. Lead poison causes brain damage and birth defects in humans. Oral ingestion of a small quantity of solid cyanide or a cyanide solution as little as 200 mg or to airborne cyanide of 270 ppm is sufficient to cause death. This picture in this presentation is of a tailings pile left over from the 70s. This tailing pile is located on the bank of an important river system in Costa Rica. The toxicity test of this tailings pile indicates an excess of 1200 parts per million lead. Every wet season this pile erodes into the adjacent river, thus reintroducing lead and other heavy metals back into the environment every year. This river supports thousands of people through the farming industry and finally ends up in the Pacific Ocean. This is just one example of the problem the entire world faces. Heap bleaching, tailings bombs, and substandard equipment are all responsible for the introduction of the toxic heavy metals and cyanide into the environment. Not one mining company in the world can state they have not had an accident. Outside of the risk of equipment failure, the one risk that cannot be mitigated is human error. Let's face it, mining is a necessity. However, we can change the toxic methods of precious metal extraction to a non-toxic process. As time goes on, companies will be forced to go eco-friendly or shut down their mining operations. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. Be sure to view the full line of mining Maxico friendly mining products for all of your processing needs.